Tonight we're learning more about a restaurant robbery early this morning that sent a man to the hospital with a gunshot wound. About 3.30 a.m., the Hook Fish and Chicken on Atlantic Boulevard. JSO tells us a masked man came into that restaurant, robbed the place, and shot an employee. First Coast News' Lana Harris joins us live tonight with what we know about that victim. Yeah, Jeff, that victim's name is Nihad Hamid, and I'm telling you, everyone that we've talked to out here said that they are shocked and appalled that anyone would do something like this to him. They say that he's a good man and that he didn't deserve this. This is Hook Fish and Chicken. Known for its food. The food is the best. And for the kindness of its manager, Nihad Hamid. I know that when I was homeless and I came here when I was hungry, he would always give me a big plate of food. Yeah, I've been here for a year. I run the front end of the store. He's a really good guy. Which is why Christina May was devastated when she heard he'd been shot right outside the restaurant. He was taking the trash out and they just, they shot him out back. JSO tells us the suspect wore a green jacket and a white mask and shot Hamid after trying to rob him. He didn't deserve it. Out of anybody, he didn't deserve it. He would have gave anything to him if they wanted it. They did not have to take it. The suspect reportedly then ran in through the back door to rob the restaurant. I don't know what they got from him. The girl that was working says she hit the front door when they hit the back door, so nobody really knows once they got in the store. Fortunately, May says they don't believe his gunshot wounds are life-threatening. He was shot, they said, once in the side and once in the arm. Still, they want to see whoever did this behind bars. They need to catch him. If he did that, he needs to turn himself in because this is not right. He is a pillar of the community, and there's, it was wrong for him to be hurt. Now, we spoke with a lot of people who didn't want to go on camera, but we have heard multiple stories of his generosity. I did speak with his son earlier today briefly. He said his father is OK, but if you know anything that could help police find out who did this, you're asked to contact them or call Crime Stoppers. You can remain anonymous. In Arlington, Lana Harris, First Coast News, on your side.